Hello folks on YouTube today. I got a fun video. I think it's fun. Um, I was searching on the internet last night. I was like, man, I need to probably, you know, it's about that time to uh, look at getting a helmet. And so I was like, man, I, I've got one of the best helmets, um, best helmets there is on the market as far as technology and bump absorption and uh you know if you're going to crash in it that's the helmet you want and let me show you this this helmet that i have all right put this helmet down real quick this is the uh, 6d motocross helmet i bought bought this um, maybe two years ago it's it's the best helmet on the market as far as you know if you're going to get a concussion or you're going to slam your head this is by far the best helmet but with that said this helmet weighs a lot more, um, considerably more than uh, this bell helmet made for mountain bikers. And so I just wanted to bring you this video today is I came across this last night and it's very easy to get. And so that's what I'm going to talk about today. Okay. Okay. So I was cruising the internet last night and I found this helmet popped up and I was like, that looks pretty cool. It's all black, just like the bike. It's very lightweight it's got big channels to flow plenty of air it's got a minimalist interior to keep the weight down it's got the front full face in case you face plant which you never know how you're going to crash and how you're going to fall if you're going to bonk the side of your head or you're going to knock your teeth out or you know uh, have that kind of uh, accident or crash so um, i went and looked at this today and i just want to share with everybody this is at academy sports everyone should have an academy sports and uh, again um, this cost 69.99 so 70 dollars uh, some of the other cool helmets you know are 150 dollars plus maybe 200 dollars um, you know this is actually a really cool helmet uh, you know very minimalist it's got you know aluminum screws the visor you can kick it way up or you can kick it down um, it's actually got a pretty comfortable interior. Uh, you know, you can go look online at Bell Helmets to see detailed interior shots, but it's actually just a really cool helmet uh, for $70 and probably $74, $75 with tax. Um, and I just wanted to share this because I'm really stoked about this. I need to, uh, you know, I've been lucky. I've been riding my bike for three months and I haven't been wearing a helmet. And I've done some, you know, semi-aggressive moves. We don't have any, you know, really cool jumps that I can find, that I can make some urban jumps out of something that are kind of ridiculous where I felt like I needed to have a helmet on or I needed to wear my 6D helmet. Uh, motocross helmet of course if I'm going to uh, race a full 450 250 F motocross bike you know at 60 miles an hour and jump uh, some of the jumps 100 feet you know and triples and doubles and step ups um, you know with a uh, 200 240 pound motorcycle that can possibly land on me the 60 is the better helmet I'm sure um, but it doesn't it's got the latest and greatest uh, ventilation and the, if you don't know about that helmet, it's got a very uh, proprietary design to the interior of that helmet that makes it one of the safest helmets in probably the world for motocross and uh, dirt biking. So, but this is more simplified, but it's really cool. And so I just wanted to share that with you. The price is, you know, $70, can't beat that. It matches the Suron, <laughs> I mean, 100%, and uh, just a very cool helmet. And so, uh, I'm going to weigh both of these helmets, and I think that's an important aspect because, you know, riding this, you don't want to add a bunch of weight. You know, you put your motocross boots on, your helmet, your goggles, a backpack with water bottles in it. I mean, you're, you're adding, I don't know, 20, 25 pounds to an, an electric bike that's already, uh, you know, fighting against weight, you know, uh, and performance. So you want to keep your weight down as much as you can. Plus two, this is going to offer tons of ventilation. It's got a ventilation here, 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 front, two on the sides, in the rear. I mean, it's just a really good ventilation, and it's almost like it's you're not wearing it, other than the peripheral where you have the front mouthpiece, and you can you know raise and lower your visor. Uh, but 
Um, again, I think this is something really cool. And as I get to uh, possibly go ride some actual trails where I need a truck to uh, take this to the trails because my trails are probably 10 miles away. So if I ride there, you know, 10 or 15 miles, then I don't have as much time to ride around and have fun. And then I got to come back on the battery charge riding that to the trails. So I need to have a vehicle that I can take this to the trails and I will be going to the trails a whole bunch uh, compared to just riding it around on the street and you know running errands on it and having fun in the street and in kind of the urban setting. But yeah, so really cool helmet. And I just wanted to share this with everybody. You may want to pick one of these up um, at Academy Sports and Outdoors, $70. Uh, really, really cool. And, uh, and I'm just going to weigh these real quick and tell you the difference between uh, the weight of this one because I, I I'm a horrible guesser and uh, what my 60 weighs. Okay, so hang tight. Okay, so here I have my trusty scale and it says 0.56 pounds. So this is, you know, like again, a very, very nice helmet, the 60, 60 helmet. Uh, so 1.56 pounds. You're not going to be able to see that, but that says 0 0.96, 0 0.98. So we'll go with a little bit heavier, 0 0.98 of a pound. So not even just slight uh, less than a pound. Uh, but the, the feel of the uh, two helmets feels pretty substantial, uh, you know, in your hand. Um, and also, too, Bell helmets uh, back in the... Um, mid 70s very very early 80s i rode with bell helmet a bell moto 3 and i think i had the bell moto 1 or whatever with the open face and then the moto 3 was one that had that uh the full face you know because that was the transition point where helmets were going full face where motocross riders were wearing open faces in that scott goggles with this little scott uh you know, face mask that clipped into your goggles i had those and i rode with those before uh you know my moto 3 and then they came out with a moto 4 and now they have literally one of the top helmets along with 60 um, and showy and awry that make some really great helmets that are 400 500 600 dollars so uh, but bell is uh, always one of the state-of-the-art accessories that you can do uh, buy to protect your head and your in different body parts and and, uh, and they're always leading the industry in performance uh, headgear. So I think this is just going to be a great helmet uh, for everybody. If you want to get one, you know, a cheap helmet to have a little bit of extra protection when you go on, uh, you know, more challenging rides. Other than that, uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everyone. Have a great day and check me out on future videos. Okay, bye-bye.